Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got the Tanker Q5 Mini LCD Projector. You can check it out on Amazon at the time of this review for an awesome price of $49.99. This is one of the most cheap, and not in build quality, but in price, projectors that I've reviewed to date. Does it hold up? Let's dive into it now and check it out. Okay, once you get everything out of the box, this is what you're going to get. Obviously, you're going to get the main unit itself, and as you can see, it's a very compact size, which I really like. Uh, you get a few different cables here. You do get an AV cable. This is for hooking up uh, older devices or uh, outputting to older devices that have your uh, red, yellow, and white hookups or composite hookups there. You get a two-prong to two-prong power adapter, so they keep it nice and slim. Uh, everything, including the power adapter here, is nice and small and compact, which is really awesome. Now, they give you a basic remote here. You do have your navigations and OK button here, uh, zoom, source, menu, exit, uh, fast forward, uh, next, um, you know, all of your basic functions that you're going to need here uh, on this, including mute and power, of course. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries that do not come included. You've got a couple different uh, pieces of literature here uh, in a few different languages. I'm not going to spend too much time on these. Uh, this is a, the user manual itself. It'll show you all the connections. Uh, they do have some key features here as well, which I'll leave up on the screen if you want to go over this. You can freeze frame this if there's anything that I missed. It's obviously uh, a 1500 lumen projector so it's a little bit on the lower side but you are only paying about $50 for this projector uh, 20,000 hours on the lamp uh, it is a native 800 by 480 pixels which is normal for lower end uh, models uh, does support 480 720p and 1080p file playback or source playback so you can play up to 1080p playback on this uh, 1000 to 1 on the contrast ratio there it does 37 inch screen to 100 inch screen. So if you need something bigger than a 100 inch screen, you may want to go with something else. Uh, and obviously you have other things in there as well as uh, dual voltage 110 and 220. So internationally you can use this as well. Uh, you've got a two watt speaker in the back that does a pretty good job uh, at overpowering fan noise. Fan noise on this is very, very low. Uh, so they did a really good job on the cooling as well. Now, you do get a warranty card here. If you need to get in touch with them, you can get in touch with them at service at tankersupport.com. Uh, they are pretty good about getting back to you if you need. Uh, they do give this in the box with that for you so that you know if you need to, uh, you can use this. But they warranty this for three years, which is excellent. I mean, this is a $50 projector. They're going to warranty it for 50 years. Now, if you want to get a free 8 gigabyte flash drive, USB flash drive, they'll reward you for leaving your honest review uh, on Amazon or something like that, and then contacting them, and then they'll send you a free 8 gigabyte flash uh, drive with that as well, so that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the unit itself. This unit is, as I said, very compact. On this side here, you're going to have a lot of your inputs. You're going to have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which can be used for external speakers, your AV, your micro SD card slot, a full HDMI slot, a full USB 2.0 port, and you also get a VGA port as well for holding, uh, hooking up legacy devices uh, such as a laptop or something like that. Some cooling vents there, as you can see. On the back, you're going to get an IR port for your remote, some more uh, cooling vents, and of course that 2-watt speaker on the back. Your other side has more venting and your power port in as well. Now, if we take a look at the top, you're going to have all of your navigation buttons, uh, menu, and back buttons, as well as power right here on the top of the unit with an LED to let you know uh, whether you're powered on or not. And then at the top, you're going to have two jog wheels here. One is for focus. That's the one in the front. And then you have a keystone correction as well, up to 15 degrees in keystone correction. So overall, in a very, very compact package here, uh, they did a really nice job on this overall as far as design goes. Now, this cap is on here very securely, and I, I actually have to uh, move this forward to get this cap to come off. Uh, but this is not like a cheap, uh, you know, uh, flimsy plastic cap. This is a very nice 
hard plastic cap that will uh, protect your lens. And you can see it's a nice big lens in there as well. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this whole setup. For $50, this would be a really good uh, movie night with the kids type of uh, LED projector. Let's get into the real time demonstration. Okay, so this is the main screen that you see uh, when you have the projector running. Uh, you get photo, music, movie, and text. Yes, it will play .txt formatted files as well. Uh, up in the left-hand corner, you can see my source, which is USB 2.0. I do have a USB drive in there. Let's take a look at some of the picture settings. You can change uh, your picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, noise reduction. And in sound, you have your sound mode, balance left or right, surround sound on or off, and you even have an EQ to further adjust that if you want. OSD language, restore factory defaults, uh, and then software updates on the next page. But if you want to rotate this as well, you can. There's three different settings for rotating in case you want to mount this upside down uh, or from the ceiling, that type of thing, you can. And of course, you can do a software update via USB. I didn't find any updates for this particular model. Overall, uh, pretty bright, even for 1500 lumens, as you can see here uh, with that blue background. Uh, give me a second to set up a, a movie file to play back for you, and you guys can see that as well. Okay, so what we have here is uh, my unboxing of the Galaxy Note 8 from my YouTube channel. It is a 1080p MP4 file, and as you can see, uh, it's very bright for 1500 lumens. Uh, this is not... Uh, something that I expected. I expected it not to be this bright, but it is. And as you can see, the color representation on this is also uh, really good. The blues and the reds of my intro come up very, very well on this particular projector. Again, this is a 1080p file, so this uh, has no problem playing back 1080p files uh, with no uh, hitches or anything over that USB 2.0 connection. I did put this on a USB stick and then just put that into the USB slot on the side of the projector. Uh, you can see as we fast forward through things, uh, there are going to be no hitches or uh, skips or anything like that. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, it plays it back flawlessly and does it very well. Again, I'm very impressed with the brightness. Uh, the sound, I did not put a sound test on this, uh, but the sound does very, very well at overcoming the fan, and that's because it has a very small fan built into it with a lot of copper uh, heat piping, so it doesn't have to be loud. So they did a good job on the fan design to keep that at a minimum. You can also use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for external speakers. Overall, I'm very impressed. I'm going to end this portion of the review, and I'll be right back. So yeah, there you go. That is my review of the Tenker Q5 Mini LCD video projector. You can check it out on Amazon. You'll have that link in the description below. Right now it's on sale for $49.99. You can get it in black or in white. I think Tenker did an awesome job on this. Uh, for the price, you really can't beat it. It's going to be perfect for uh, gaming or movies. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this projector, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.